We often hear the objection that you cannot mix God and government, religion and politics, the, the moral and the political. My response to that is, why not? Our founding fathers based government on God and encouraged both religion and morality. By encouraging Christians to vote their conscience, we're not establishing a national religion, which the Constitution forbids, but only encouraging religion in general, which the Constitution promotes, and morality in particular, which the courts have upheld. Good morals are the basis of good government, and without morality, civil government is not civil. Government without God is godless. Government without religion is irreligious or anti-religious. Government without morality is amoral or immoral. Look at Russia, China. James Madison, the father of the U.S. Constitution, uh, said before any man can be considered a member of civil society, he must be considered a subject of the governor of the universe. That's the father of the U.S. Constitution. Our founding fathers did not hesitate to mix God and government. The pilgrims did in the Mayflower Compact. They said their purpose was to uh, propagate the gospel and they came in the name of James, uh, King James, the defender of the faith. The Declaration of Independence, our birth certificate, mixed God and government. It talks about creator creation and God-given moral absolutes. The U.S. Constitution uh, came later and it was based on the Declaration and every state has had to agree with the Declaration of Independence to become a state. The Northwest Ordinance in 1786 said religion, morality, and knowledge being necessary to good government and the happiness of mankind, uh, schools and the means of education shall forever be encouraged. We must mix God and government. We must mix the moral law with our civil society. By promoting good government, we are not establishing religion, but establishing morality. The Constitution only forbids establishing a national religion, not a national morality. We've always had a national morality. It's been the Judeo-Christian morality. When the Supreme Court ruled against polygamy, it referred to the fact this was a Christian nation. Congress, the federal government, shall make no law concerning the establishment of religion nor prohibiting the free exercise thereof. We must encourage uh, religion in general in our society and promote morality in particular. We're facing a decision, maybe the most important decision in our life. In a couple of weeks, we're voting as Americans on who will lead this nation for the next uh, four years. How should Christians vote? Well, we cannot endorse a particular candidate or a particular political party, but we can say this. We should vote morals over money. We should put our spirituality over our economy. Most Christians vote their purse, not their principles. If we're going to change America, we have to start at the basis, we have to start where our founders started, giving recognition to God Almighty and vote morals over money and principle over party and vote uh, life over death. Ask yourself this, which candidates are in favor of life, life from conception right on to natural death? Which candidates oppose that? Vote for life. If you're not alive, you don't have any rights. The right to life is the right to all other rights.